Hey friends, I'm Steph from CheapsGetCooked.com and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to talk about farmers markets. <laughs> Even when we were on like really tight budgets and we've been on quite a few tight budgets over the years with different restrictions like food allergies and just different issues and we've moved all over the place. I really, really tried to prioritize local homegrown products like fruits and vegetables or eggs, um, meat and def different kinds of animal products. And obviously that is really hard to do on a tight budget, um, but I love supporting them because it is good for the earth, it is good for the local economy, it's good for our bodies. There are so many reasons to prioritize that. and. It's not easy. We all know that it's not easy. I really like going to farmers markets. I like supporting the local farmers there, but I don't get there as often as I would like. So when Farmbox Direct contacted me, I was really interested in trying one of their boxes because their goal is to bring the farmers market to your door. And while I think that it's best to go to the farmers market, and really get to know farmers face to face and build that community and see what other farms in your area are offering. I know that that's not always practical for all of us. So something like a farm to door service could be really, really practical for some of us. So I wanted to unpack my box and show you guys what is in it and maybe just give you some more information, especially if you can't get to the farmer's markets regularly or you're just looking for something that's going to work for you in the season that you are in then hopefully this will help give you some more information and will help you make a decision that is right for your family and your budget right now. We have done farmer's markets. We used to live a mile away from a farmer's market, so I would go there very often then. I've done those little truck stands that you see on the side of the road. We've done little pop-ups that happened in the pawn shop parking lot. Last year I did a CSA and I posted a video about what we got in our CSA basket and whether or not that was actually helping us save money and eat healthy at the same time last year. I'm really curious, have you guys tried some of these farm to door concepts? The ones that actually deliver produce to your door and have you been happy with them? Did you stick with them long term? I'm really curious, let me know in the comments and that will help me and it will help anybody reading them to gather more information about whether this is a good decision for them. All right, here's the box. It is not a small box, but I am so excited because hopefully it's going to help feed our family of five lots of fruits and vegetables this week. All right, let's see what is in the box. So one thing that I liked about the farm box reviews is that they said everything that the products were shipped in was recyclable. So that's always a plus, especially when you consider all the extra shipping and all the, the kind of the stuff that happens with that. Then um, I want to make sure that it is going to be recyclable. Okay, tons and tons of little produce it's all wrapped in paper. That's nice. We've got some reusable ice packs here. I don't love the ice pack, but you know, it was sitting on my porch for like uh, a couple hours <laughs> while I was away yesterday. So I'm thankful for the ice packs. All right, number one. This feels like asparagus. Look at that, beautiful. I'm gonna wrap that up right here. This big one. Ooh, lettuce. Nice. Beautiful, crisp. Okay, honestly, this was sitting uh, in my living room overnight because I was waiting to be able to do this. I didn't get home until late last night, and then I was waiting to get home um, and be able to do this in the daylight. So, so this box had to sit overnight in my living room and the produce is still nice and cold and see with asparagus especially it's not wilty or slimy at all got some pears here awesome 
some avocados. These both say that they are organic. Can you see that? So that's really nice. Um, we have some oranges. So ideally with Farm Box Direct, it's regional, so it's not, you know, like within a couple of miles. We don't live anywhere close to a couple of miles within some place that uh, grows avocados or oranges, but they are organic and they're from Eco Farms. Oh, tomatoes here. They don't have a sticker on them that says whether they are organic, but they do feel very, very perfectly right. Ooh, oh, baby broccoli, that's cute. And it is organic, it's by Foxy, which is kind of a national brand. I wouldn't say that's very local. Maybe it is, I don't know. Orange bell pepper, look at that. Gorgeous. Beet. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> so dumb. Some apples, also organic. <gasps> Kiwis! Yay! Look at these. Also organic. Argentina, which isn't super local, I'm just saying. Look at that. Yep. But they are organic. Rainbow carrots, lovely. This is for dehumidification. Humidification. Dehumidification. Dehumidification. unboxing or review or whatever you want to call it. Well, I really like local produce. I really like fruits and vegetables in general and trying to get as much of them into our diet as possible. But sometimes we need a push in the right direction. Or maybe we just need a box to come to our door and make us use fruits and vegetables. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it helps you save money and eat healthy. And if you would like more ways to save money and eat healthy, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button down below. Farmers markets, they're so much fun. I never ever regret it and I love the... Let's put that on Do Not Disturb. Can you hear my squeaky table right there? It's not distracting at all. Why can't you play it?
Okay, why don't you do that then? Why don't you finish your stuff that you know you can do? All right, I love you guys. Go on. Thank you. And this is for dehumidification. 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 Okay, here's the here's the box.